Sorry for the noise. We've been going rogue on this thing. That means it wants you to lower. We are in Seattle, we're at the Evo store. I had the opportunity to paint a mural outside with my buddy Skywalker. Him and I did the mural on the outside of this van, actually. I filmed a project for GoPro all season. I lived out of the van, we documented everything. So we're doing an art show, full gallery of, of mine and Sky's pieces. We're gonna unveil the mural, show the movie project, and have an art show. The whole movie itself, I really wanted to highlight a lot of the people that have inspired me and helped shape me into the person I am today. It was more or less finding masters, whether it was painting, whether it was building, whether it was surfing. It's kind of all the, all the things in my life that are really important to me. Yeah, just how snowboarding has helped shape me into the skier I am, how surfing's helped shape me and how climbing shaped me. We tried to really document that and highlight people that have mastered each of those sports. Well, Bishop, which is just 40 minutes south of Mammoth, and my origin story goes quite a bit deeper than that. My dad was from Budapest. They escaped during communism and, like, Hungarian Revolution. Crazy story. Started off with nothing, but they ended up in Long Beach, California, and he turned into a full surf rat as a kid. And then he found Mammoth in college and never looked back. But anyway, so he found Mammoth, met my mom there in the 70s, and. They lived between Mammoth and Bishop and raised us in that environment and took us up on the weekends and I hated it at first but it turned out I obviously started to love it. I kind of found ski racing, didn't love the structure or format of that and my brother was pursuing snowboarding then and he grew up with John Jackson and so I kind of had to be in a downhill suit and racing on pow days or days they were in the park and I was like really inspired by what they were doing. It was during the same time when twin tips were coming up so I just kind of started to try and mimic what they were doing but on my skis. started to find surfing and got really inspired. Just the vision it takes for surfing and how reactionary it is, but it's so in tune at the same time, you know? Like you never really know what the wave's gonna do, but they're like three steps ahead. And I really try to ski that way, have an open mind essentially. And if I see a wind lip over to the left, I'm gonna cut across to hit it. I'm not trying to get down the mountain the fastest. Yeah, in terms of my origin, like all those things started to shape me and 
and just, yeah, brought me here, gave me a life I really love, you know, and I have a wife who's a pro snowboarder, and then Kimmy, obviously, is a ripping snowboarder, and she's a huge part of my story, and we've been together almost half my life now, which is crazy. Met her, I was scooping ice cream at an ice cream store, and she, yeah, and used to come in with her friends, and I'd always give a little extra scoops, you know? <laughs> I think what really connected us is she lost her father to cancer as well. And she had heard about mine because she had met my brother through snowboarding. Yeah, she just was open and I always wear my emotions on my sleeve too. So she's like, if you ever want to talk about your dad, I lost mine too. And I was like, blah, 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 blah. You know, like just talked about it right away. I think that like sparked that connection for sure. I've been lucky that I was, I don't know if it was embedded in me young or if that's just the way I was raised, but I've always, I've always just not dwelled on the past too much. And like with my dad, for instance, people deal with death in different ways. And I kind of tried to take all the positive and the light from it and just like be thankful for what I learned and the extra time I got to spend with him and kind of growing up quicker. and finding skiing as an outlet and all these things. Obviously, I think that helped me realize that life is short, too. You never really know what's coming, you know? There's a big adventure next. Kimmy and I are gonna have a child. So yeah, we're psyched. So I'm gonna be staying home this year. Um, obviously, I don't want her to shovel 40 feet of snow as a pregnant woman. I am selfishly love, love our life right now, you know? We're very free, we get to travel a lot, do a lot, and I don't think kids have to change that, but I know it's a, a new challenge and it's not easy, and, and I'll see that when I have a kid, you know? It's hard to say now what we'll be doing, but hopefully we can uh, still be traveling in the van a ton and climbing and skiing and surfing. Mm -hmm.